Hey guys, it's Wes here from Bricks Anywhere, uh, coming to you with our first YouTube video live from the Bricks Anywhere Worldwide Headquarters in Central Delaware. That's right, we're actually in the capital of the first state, Dover, Delaware, and yes, Delaware is a state, for those of you wondering. Uh, so what better way to kick off our YouTube channel than with a tour of our warehouse? What you're looking at here is just some sets that we're building up to part out. Uh, you see there on the floor a couple Toys R Us bags. We always like to take advantage of the 10% off on Thursdays. On sets that aren't marked up that much over retail, as everybody knows, Toys R Us tends to mark those up. So anyways, this is the sets that we're building up for part out. Got quite a variety there. Uh, usually we it depends on the size of the set, but a lot of times we like to have at least 20 of a set before we part it out. Uh, just coming back over, swing back over to the left here without making you guys dizzy. Here you're looking at the, these are the six quart Sterilite tubs. And these here, uh, we have about 200 of them here. These are all minifigures. So they're, usually we keep about two different types of minifigures in each tub. Uh, just depending on the quantity of minifigures. Some minifigures, if they're from sets, like some of the small battle pack Star Wars sets. Uh, where we part out over a hundred at a time. A lot of those minifigures will probably be spread over two or three tubs. Uh, and then above them, just a few more sets that we're uh, waiting to part out there. So we'll pan back down. Warehouse is actually kind of a wreck right now, as you see. We just, uh, this past weekend, we were in Maryland for Brickfest Live. So all these tubs are the minifigures and some of the sets that we actually took the Brickfest with us. So we're actually bringing those back in and going through those and organizing them and putting a lot of them back away if they weren't displayed. If they were on display, we'll keep those for another show somewhere down the road. You might have seen the uh, Nerf guns up there. Those are all, all those boxes have just the gun in them. Uh, actually before Lego, something we did in days gone by is we actually broke down nerf sets and we sold scopes and barrel extensions so those are just the gun up there so we got got most of the money back well all of the money back on the parts we sold and now we're just left with a bunch of nerf guns uh, but that's something we used to do before we got into bricklink and such over here is just some more sets that were, that we're waiting to part out Let's see we got more than enough first class mailbags there uh, never get through all those things just some more sets. Like all the sets you see are waiting for part out. There in the tubs are sets that uh, we just, if we get a few of them, we start opening them up, we take minifigures out, we'll open the bags up into the tubs there just to make it easier, and then we'll sort from those tubs. So that's what you're seeing there. More of the same up there. And then these wagons here, we like those wagons. We use them when we go to the conventions. They're actually nice in the warehouse too for carrying sets around. Getting sets out of the car when we bring them, bring them back in from the stores. So hopefully the video is not shaking too much here. So I'll just pan up now. Look at the uh, we're at the back of the warehouse here. See the uh, minifigures that we discussed over here to the left. We'll come down. This is the first aisle of parts, and again we have the same six quart Sterilite tubs. Uh, we have a total of over 1,200 of those throughout the warehouse. You see they have different lid colors, gray, pink, blue. We do that just to differentiate. That way they're not, we don't have 1,200 tubs all in white. It just lets us find them easier. If, if we have them in our remarks as pink 200 or blue 200, just makes it a little easier. We also have some of the bigger Sterilite tubs here. These are the 16 quart ones. We have about 140 of them in the warehouse with parts in them. And you'll see here is our collection of 60 drawer stack-ons. Uh, like a lot of you guys out there, when we started our BrickLink store, that's what we started with. And uh, I think at one time we probably thought that we'd have our whole store in 60 drawer stack-ons. But once you start par parting out in quantity and those 60 drawer stack-on, the sizes of the drawers, they get small pretty quick. So uh, we still have... We have about 33 of the 60 drawer stack-ons. 
so we still use them for a lot of the smaller pieces and a lot of the rarer pieces we have. So just come back over this way. These Sterilite tubs, they go down. Like I said, we have the different color lids. Pink, blue, going down to white. There's a few stack-ons there, we just have stickers in and such. And then we're actually running out of space for our 16-quart tubs. This shelf here is actually for orders that are waiting to be shipped. We have a couple of them there, you see. <laughs> Kirkland Minoxidil box, I don't know why that's sitting around, but uh, always works good to store parts in. In bags, of course, we don't have them loose in there, but... So this is where any uh, any orders that have been pulled and are waiting for payment will sit here. We actually only have a couple now because we have a bunch we still have to pull for the weekend. Pan back over here and just want to show you this real quick. Here's some 18 drawer stack-ons. These here, with this uh, shelf is two-sided. We have 30 of those. That's also where we store minifigures along with the 16 quart tubs. This is actually the main place that we uh, store the minifigures. The bigger tubs are just for the, the backup, but if we're pulling single minifigures, we'll come to these drawers first, uh, and then we'll refill these drawers from the 16 quart tubs we have. That's looking towards the back of the warehouse again. Just pan back around here. Uh, you see on the empty shelf back there is where we keep our empty tubs. Obviously, we don't have any right now. Uh, doing the breakfast shows and and just adding more lots to the store. We've gone through all those. Here's some of the uh, 56 quart Sterilite tubs. We have about we only have about 10 of those here in the warehouse. And then you see more sets there that have that are waiting for part out. If you see if you notice the sharpie there on the uh, boxes, that just means we've opened them for something. Whether we've taken the minifigures out or if we've had to take pieces out. That just lets us know that if there's bags open in there, we did it. Because uh, as a lot of you know, I'm sure, you buy uh, sets off the shelves of Walmarts or Targets. A lot of times, unfortunately, you get the people that have gone in and pillaged the minifigures out of them and left the sets on the shelf. So we just do that so we know we've opened them. Uh, just going down here, a little dark down here, but we have a lot of the 16-quart Sterilite tubs have about 140 of those and then to the left here just more of the 16 quart tubs and there's there's the ones with the red lid so that's our whole red section ladder and a sink which is not in a great spot but couldn't do much with the warehouse when we got it so that sits down there unused then just at the top of these shelves are a lot of sets that are retired or Sets we're not sure what we're going to do with yet. Those Hobbit sets actually will probably be parted out. But see, we got some SpongeBob sets, Star Wars sets. The lighting's probably not great up there, but those Elves sets will actually probably part out. Um, and we do right at the very top up there. We do have some Grand Emporiums, and well, no, those are tower bridges. I guess Grand Emporiums are over there. But a lot of those sets are sets we got with the intention of parting them out, and before we ever got them in quantity to part them out, they retired, so we just kind of hold on to them to see what we want to do with them. So now we'll go from the warehouse part up into the first office here. This room is where we pull the orders. We also have some more storage in here. Here's a lot of the 18 drawer stack-ons, which we have about 80 of those for parts. So we're just rearranging some, as we add 18 drawer stack-ons, we will push the rest of these 60 drawer stack-ons out with the rest. Then above those, just another storage option. We have some of these boxes that we got from Ikea. So we have about 100 of those. They work pretty well. Just, you know, just another option for sorting, or storing, not sorting. That's just the cart we use when we're pulling orders or even putting away orders or putting away pieces. 
little uh, sorting trays will be stacked on there and we can roll that around. Here's some tubs that are just waiting to go in their location. More of those IKEA boxes down there that we're waiting waiting for space on. Then we have our fancy counting scale there. Usually we won't use that unless unless we're talking about two, three hundred pieces or more. Uh, a lot of times with little pieces, if it's one by one plates, pieces that are real light, uh, we don't really trust the accuracy of the scale. So a lot of times we'll still count those by hand. Bigger items, two by four bricks, stuff like that. That scale is is pretty accurate. There's our cart that's falling apart that uh, stores all our little Ziploc bags in it. I'll show you just like the different bags there that put pieces in. Goes all the way up by the from the one and a half by two inch bags all the way down to eight inch by ten inch bags. So let's look at the front of the office here. Like I said, this is this office is used other than the storage we use this for putting away putting away sets and also pulling orders. There's a stack of orders we're waiting to pull. And just some info up on the board. A couple sets there that have been put away. We're just they're on that. Keep them up on that board until we upload them. Once we upload them, then they'll be erased from the board. So that's pretty much this room here. And we'll go up to into the front office now. Show you that first since it's right there. But that is that's our main sorting table there. And I'm trying to think of what set we're so uh, that's the Avengers Tower that's being sorted there. I think probably about 40 of them. But we still use the sorting trays, uh, and then we use the bags. Usually if it takes up about two, more than two slots on the trays, we'll switch over to a bag. Actually, we kind of like the bags because it's much easier putting it away. Uh, sorting trays are nice, but trying to get the little pieces out of those when we're putting them away can be a pain. So, this room is kind of like the rest of the warehouse is kind of a mess right now. Like I said, we're, we're still kind of coming back in from Brickfest, and just uh, with the... The speed we part out sets, we just get a lot of backlogs. A lot of tubs you see there have many figures that need to be put away. And that's just our main computer there. We use that for invoicing orders, for printing out orders. And we just have some more junk over here. Some of the TIE Fighters there from the new Imperial Assault Carrier set. Those are pretty cool. And then architecture instruction booklets, which we thought we'd list, but we haven't had any luck with selling instructions, so don't know what we'll do with those. My London calendar I like to get every year. Well, this video is up over 13 minutes now, so if you've stuck around this long, thank you. I know it's not the most exciting thing. There's just some more mini figures we're waiting to process, put away minifigure accessories, not sure what we're doing with those yet. Warehouse bathrooms in there, we don't need to see that. We'll just come up to the front here and uh, there's a set that is the Carnage Shield Attack. Since it's a smaller set, I think we have about 40 there, but we're hoping to add more to it. And then we just have a lot of these tubs are smaller sets, like a lot of the small friend sets. So that's we're just waiting to build up. So we'll uh, we'll put them in those tubs until we actually have have the quantity we want to to part out. Like I said, usually twenty of a set is kind of our minimum, and it would depend on the size of the set as to how many we uh, we end up parting out. There you see our collection of sorting trays down there. You'll notice, you know, we kind of, when we came into it just just a little less than two years ago, we watched a, got to give a shout out to Bricks on the Dollar, watch a lot of Ask Clutch videos, and also Bricks are. Bricks are, I think, is the first first video we ever watched on YouTube when we, we heard about BrickLink and decided it was something we were interested in. So, uh, shout out to Bricks are and Bricks on the Dollar, both uh, influenced a lot of the 
storage options we have here and and definitely helped us in the early days of the BrickLink store. So now we've grown to, right now I think we have just over 1.5 million pieces and uh, not, not the greatest variety. We have about 3,200 lots. So uh, again, thanks for sticking with us this long. We're now over 15 minutes. Wow. Uh, my brother did a test run of this. He did it in about five. So that just says I talk too much. But anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. We hope to do a lot more. I'd like to do a room tour of my personal Lego collection back home uh, coming up soon. So if you like the video, go ahead and give us a like. You know, subscribe if you like what you see. Like I said, we'll have, hope to have a lot more on this channel. Uh, not just Brickling stuff, but a lot, a lot more of like mocks I'm working on. Maybe some personal hauls, stuff like that, depending on what people like. So give us a like, subscribe if you like what you see, and, and we're always open to feedback, whether good or bad. We like to hear back from you guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.